Hey, how's it going guys? Hope you all are doing as good as I am today. Today I'm gonna be hiking Furnace Mountain once again. Um, this is gonna be my second attempt. As you guys have seen or watched the last video, I tried hiking the Furnace Mountain, but it was a whole different scenario. It was uh, snowy, icy, it was 27 degrees, like very cold, and I slipped a couple times. But today, today's a whole different situation. There's no snow, <laughs> no ice, you will not believe how many degrees is it right now? It's actually 72 degrees in the middle of January here in Virginia. Yep, I couldn't believe it myself. That's crazy. It just feels like like it's summer. When I'm walking right now, see, I don't even have I don't even have my thick jacket on me. There is a lot more people today though. Last time there was like nobody, but today we got like six, five to six cars. So I'm looking forward to hiking. Hopefully this time I won't fall. If you guys are ready, let's do it. Let's check it out. Alrighty guys, as you can see behind me is the beautiful, delicious, amazing Furnace Mountain. There you go. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I've been here already for a little bit. Just had my lunch. I brought some boiled eggs, lots of bread. I had this fish that you can put on a sandwich. It's already like salted and cut and you know oiled. And then I had some delicious pickles. I love pickles. I don't, if you guys like love pickles, give me a like. Anyway, right now I'm gonna eat a dessert. It's this uh it's a hazelnut wafer made in Germany. Um, I didn't want to film how I was eating and things like that just because there were some people here and I just wanted to respect their privacy. Um, by the way, today I want to mention, I did not bring my usual drink today. You, you guys know I usually bring tea with me, hot delicious tea, you know? But today, because it was such a warm day, I actually brought some water, but not just pure water. I put some lemon in it. Water with lemon, that's it. No sugar, nothing like that. Just water with lemon. And man, it is so good. Before I eat this wafer, I kind of want to encourage you a little bit, guys. Um, and I want to read today's Bible verse. It's going to be Psalms uh, 18, the first two verses. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I've been thinking about, about this verse and about this topic for a little bit already. And um, the question I want to ask you is, who do you stand on? Who do you stand on when life gets hard, when, when life gets tough? As you guys can see in this psalm, King David, he stood on, on, on Jesus. He, that was his rock. And no matter what happened, no matter what happened in his life, whether he had enemies on his side, whatever happened in his life, at the end of the day, he trusted God. He was standing always on God because God is, was that rock, unmovable rock. This is something I was thinking about. I'm like, hey, that's what I want in my life. You know what I mean? All of us, we all go through ups and downs in life, everyone. Even this year, new year started. We don't know what challenges we're gonna have, what, what challenges we're gonna face this year, but it's just really good to have someone that you can stand on. No matter what happens in life, you're gonna have that confidence, that strength, you know? Who is your strength? So I just really wanna encourage you who's watching this video is let God be your rock. Stand on him because God he doesn't change. He doesn't move. He's going to be your guide. Let him be your guide. And But all you have to do to make him your rock, your guide, is you have to first give up yourself. you got to give up your sin. 
and then you got to surrender your life to God completely, 100%. Because you can't just choose God, take him, and then don't don't give up your pleasures, don't give up yourself. That doesn't work, you know? You got to let God fully control the wheel. You got to let God fully take control of your life, and then God will do amazing things in your life, and God will give you that strength to stand upon him, the rock. So, hope you guys got that understood that lesson. <laughs> but anyway, I want to eat this uh, little wafer right now. They're super delicious actually. Anyway, Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like the sun is already setting. I should probably start heading back because I don't want to kind of walk in the dark because it's kind of hard walking in the dark. Last time I walked in the dark, I actually broke my camera. So maybe I should, should take my own advice and go while it's still um, light. So let's, let's keep going back. All right, guys, I have made it back safely to my car before it got dark completely. <laughs> it's actually already past sunset time. I've hiked a total of distance of 5.19 miles, a total accent of 1,305 feet, and a total time of three hours, 26 minutes. So it was a great, great experience. This is, my, like I said, my first time hiking, but I had a great time. I was even able to catch a sunset uh, while coming back. That was super cool. But man, what a great hike. I would recommend hiking this trail um, when it's like this in winter time, because you can see so much more. You can see more of the views because the trees don't have the leaves yet so you'll be able to see a more broader view so anyway guys i uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video um, i want to encourage you to have jesus as your rock as your strength because like i said before life is up and downs we don't know what's going to happen in our life but it's good to have somebody that you you know is not going to fail you that is going to be there for you no matter what happens you know and he's going to guide you and show you the right way to go if you're not saved yet i would encourage you to ask jesus to to be your guide and to be a rock because you can't live this life without god you just cannot thanks again for watching guys hopefully i'll see you guys in the next adventure i'm hopefully planning uh, on going my next hike is probably going to be i think it's called pleasant view or pleasant mountain something like that it's also in the shenandoah national park but anyway guys thanks again and i hope to see you guys in the next adventure god bless <laughs>